Welcome futsal fans all over the country, all over the world. My name is JR Figueiredo and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be your host here tonight on the men's final of the 2024 Cane uh, Futsal Championship for Canada Soccer in from streaming directly from the beautiful city of Calgary, Alberta, from the seven cheap sportsplex in the Tisutina Nation Land and Treasury Seven Territory. It's a beautiful day for futsal here in Calgary. The sun is shining. We have a beautiful view from the mountains, from the Rocky Mountains, and it's a perfect scenario for a battle of giants on futsal in Canada. Ontario with the nine of October versus Quebec. Quebec with the Sporting Montreal. Sporting Montreal trying to make history tonight, this afternoon, trying to win the third championship in a row and become the biggest winner of the tournament, of the Futsal Canadian Championship. They already have two titles. They won in 2023 and 2022. 2023, they won here in Calgary last year. In 2022, they won at home in Garneau, Quebec. Uh, and they are trying to, to go for three in a row, to be three times champion of national champion in, for futsal in Canada. Uh, my name is G.R. Figueiredo. I'm going to be your host today. And we're going to have full of a full game here for you two guys today. So Montreal comes, Sports in Montreal comes with a full line with number one, Francis Monongno, number five, Hansa Metamohan, number eight, Mohamed Brahimi, number nine, Rasen Russia, number 10, Omar El Kalulu, number 11, Raihan Horao, number 12, Stefano Lago, number 19, Yassini Berbrici, number 24, Mohamed Cardozi, and number 99, Zachariah Omas. And 9th of October from Ontario comes with number one, Darren Borhane, number two, Andy Ruiz, number five, Roberto Gale, number six, Matthew Rios, number seven, Jesse Oliver, number eight, Osma Roussein, number nine, Johan Rios, number 10, Joshua Proctor, number 11, Julian Tavares, number 17, Mauricio Shamale, number 18, Luis Eduardo Rojas, Jorjas, number 19, Gaspar Caruso, number 20, Christian Guambo, and number 30, Joshua Lemos. This year's tournament is being an interesting tournament for both, both teams, where uh, teams from eight provinces come to challenge you here. Uh, the reigning champions, the, Montre the Montreal Sporting Montreal um, teams from all over the country, from, from Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Nunavut, Alberta, uh, British Columbia, and Yukon uh, challenge for the tournament. We had on the first round, uh, 9th of October, had three games and three wins. They scored 21 goals and only got six goals scored. A goal differential of 15, uh, 15 goals and nine points. And it's Sporting Montreal also with a perfect record of three, win three games, three wins, no draws, no losses. And they scored 26 goals, more positive than, than, on, than the 9th of October, but they allowed seven goals, one more the 9th of October, a uh, goal differential of 19 and nine points, uh, as you're gonna see it uh, coming up. As we have mentioned on the, on the female side tonight, at 5 p.m. Pacific and 8 p.m. Eastern, we're gonna see the Team Canada play for the CONCACAF Futsal Championship. Last night they tie Cuba 5-5, uh, and they play pa uh, Panama tonight. Uh, you can find it live at youtube.com slash CONCACAF. And, and the reason I mention is because this uh, Sporting Montreal is giving 17, seven players to that to that team, to Team Canada. Uh, so they they are coming a little bit with a little bit short, but they, they have shown that even though they are missing seven of the key players, um, the the players that come to substitute them is really they're really able to kind of step up and they're able to kind of keep the reigning champions an opportunity to win three championships in a row for the first time of this tournament and make history um, in Calgary. Uh, but night of October is also they also are, uh, gave it three three players to that team, so it's not uh, only Montreal. It's being with a, uh, a smaller crew coming coming to Alberta uh, for the championship. 
The, foot, the Futsal Canadian Championship starts in 2015, was hosted in Quebec for the first time and, and had it, uh, the Futsal Club Toronto as the first champion. And ever since, uh, we only missed the, the, the 2020 and the 2021 uh, due to COVID. Uh, and ever since, uh, Sport in Montreal with the Toronto Idol is being the, the biggest winners of this tournament with two each tournament. And, and, and Sport in Montreal has the opportunity uh, to win the third, the third title and being the, the biggest winner of the championship, futsal championship tournament. The team is going to play a rematch from last year's final here at the Seven Chiefs Complex, uh, Sports Complex, and in the uh, Sports Montreal were they were victorious last year, so they come back here one year later, same place, same time, same teams, and they are trying. As you can see, Sports finishing the the warming up, they are finishing the the final warm up preparations. They are getting ready for the game. We're expecting a very high pace and a very, very en high energy uh, game happening today. It's been an incredible week here in Alberta of futsal, futsal, futsal craziness. Uh, we have seen so many goals and so many, so many different skills, so many different ways of just seeing the game that it's been impressive. And, and we, 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 we have high hopes that for the future of the sport in, in the country and as we we see the growth in the prairies and the growth to the west um, something that um, we are long time do in the country and we see it happen finally happen in the way uh, the way this tournament this tournament causes as if, if you if we follow us on a female broadcast we're able to interview uh, some provinces in in the prairies here and then in the whole developmental of the sport um, in the western canada and since the championship came here last year, uh, we have seen the growth and the birth of so many leagues around, around the Prairie provinces in, in the BC, in Alberta, in, in Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. And it's being, it's being approved. So right now, it's being, the bronze medal game is being played on the second half, and it's 1-1, Manitoba and, and, and Alberta. Um, they are they're tying 1-1 with 11 minutes to the end on the bronze, bronze medal games. Um, that's going to be decided very, very soon here. Uh, stick around after the fine gold medal game. We're going to be uh, broadcasting the, the, the medal ceremony uh, here from the seven chief sportplex in Calgary, Alberta. We are a few minutes away from the start of the game. Ontario is doing the final preparations. Um, Sporting Montreal as well, just kind of fin finalizing the warm up, the warm up processes and and everything. They're gonna, the team's gonna line up very soon for the walk in at the national end, and it's been really impressive to see the growth of the game and and and, and how much how many people is being attracted to watch the game. Um, here in Calgary and also the, the local organizers. It's been incredible, incredible tournament, so well organized by, by CUSA, by Calgary United Soccer Association, um, hosted by Canada Soccer. And they, they, they did an incredible job uh, with all the volunteers and everybody had an incredible time enjoying the, uh, uh, the essence of, of futsal and uh, from team officials to referees to players to fans. Um, it's been very incredible opportunity to see this happening in a, in a very incredible way. And like I said, this is a historical moment. Uh, Sport in Montreal has an opportunity to go for three years in a row to be to be crowned the champions of the Canadian Championship for the third time in the back to back to back um, to back tournaments. And this never ha never happened. Um, and they have the opportunity. So the the highlight of, of this team, they have the Sports Montreal have four incredible players that we should be watching here for tonight. First one's number eight, Mohamed Brahami. Um, he was called up for Team Canada for the first time in the last camp in December. Um, he, he did not make the team, but he was called up for the first time and and, and he was able to, to kind of practice with the team. The same thing was Mohamed Kadosi, number 24. Uh, we should keep our eyes open on, on those two players. Um, another person, another player we need to kind of pay attention is, is number 99, Zach Zachariah 
Oma. So it's being a very incredible tournament for him with lots of goals, lots of opportunities. And number nine, um, Renson Rocha, uh, he had a very impressive uh, uh, game last night against, against Element Scottish. Uh, and it was really impressive to see their performance uh, yesterday. So we need to keep our eyes open uh, to these players. And, and on, on the Ontario side and then the October side, uh, a couple of names we need to kind of pay attention is, is number 11, Julian Tavares. Um, and, and also uh, number eight, Osma Hussein, being very good, um, a very good tournament for those those players. And, and we, we need to kind of pay attention to that. The referee line for today, it's a blended uh, referee line. First referee is Nikki Vagendas from Ontario. Second referee is Adam Benami from Alberta, from Calgary. Third referee is Michael Mudd from Alberta. And the timekeeper is Alex McGraver from Saskatchewan. Teams are getting ready. Final preparations here for the beginning of the game. We see the fans already kind of taking their positions, taking the, their seatings. What's promising to be a very, very interesting, very good soccer match today. Okay, we're getting ready here to the start of the game. Teams are kind of lining up, getting preparations for it, uh, for the incredible 2024 Futsal Championship. But Canada Soccer, what an incredible tournament, Julie. What an incredible tournament, my friends. It's been here since Thursday. Uh, lots of Futsal being played in the Seven Chiefs Sportplex in Calgary, Alberta. Um, it's been very, very entertaining uh, to see these, these, these provinces colliding and the growth of the, of the Western provinces. Um, just an update for you right now on the bronze medal game. Edmonton Scottish is two, Manitoba is one, um, as they are getting ready for uh, the five minutes away to the end of the game. As we're getting ready here for the gold medal, gold medal game for the 2024 Canadian Championship, the major division. Um, teams all over the, prov all over the country came to to design and to challenge themselves for for the 2024 championship, it's been uh, incredible, incredible experiences as is uh, the Sporting Montreal are trying to go for a triple crown, three in a row, three three championships in a row, on uh, the back back to back. And the first time they win is 2000. They won for the first time in 2022 in Garneau, on the tournament in Garneau. And they beat the Toronto Idol in the final in 2023 here last year in Calgary, Alberta. They beat the same 9th of October uh, on the final. And now it's a rematch of last year's uh, when 9th of October is trying to um, defeat and come back from last year's uh, defeat for Sporting Montreal. And of October coming with the best defense uh, of the tournament. And this point of Montreal is coming with the best attack. So that's going to be a very interesting dynamic between the best defense of the, of the tournament against the best attack of the, the tournament. It's going to be definitely a match to be watched here at Canada Soccer YouTube channel uh, today. Love to also to give you a, a thank you to Canada Soccer sponsors 
uh, to supporting soccer in Canada. Um, sponsors to Toyota, CIBC, Visa, Gatorade, Google is crazy, Centennial Storage, and also the, lo the QSA local organizing community sponsors, Hotel Realty, the Calgary Women's Soccer Association, Edward Jones, Fever Sports, and KFC. Check out our Team Canada on the CONCACAF Futsal Championship tonight. Last night they played Cuba, they tied 5-5, and then they, they tie in second place in Group B, and they will face Panama at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Game, you can find the games at youtube.com slash CONCACAF. So when these two teams kind of match, Ontario and Quebec, they're being very uh, dominant on the futsal world in Canada on the last, uh, last 10 years, since 2015. Every single final of the men's side is being Quebec on Ontario, the except exceptions 2017, when the Saskatoon team uh, got in the middle there and they played the final against Quebec, Quebec won. But every single title has been given to Quebec or to Ontario ever since 2015. This year is not going to be different. It is going to be an like Ontario or a Quebec team. It's going to be earning uh, the, the the trophy, going to be taking the trophy home. Um, it's going to be the Sporting Montreal for the third time in a row. It's going to be night of October for the first time ever, crowned the national champions. We're just going to find the preparations in here as we're going to go into the game. It's been really impressive to see the facility here in Calgary and how they've been using it for futsal. It's a, it's a 40 meter by 25 with official measuring size court, and it's really impressive. As the teams starting to walk in to the final. You see there, this is going to be the beginning of the, of the gold match final between Night of October from Ontario and the Sporting Montreal from Quebec. That's your gold medal final there, ladies and gentlemen. That's your the teams lining up, getting ready for the amazing final. And let's go now to the playing of the national anthem. Oh, because the oh because the Alberta and Mon Man Manitoba game is still going on, we're not going to play the national anthem for the final. So we're just going to go right away to the game. You see the captains lining up. For Sporting Montreal, number 24, Mohamed Kadosi. For Night of October, number six, Matthew Rios. The two of the best futsal players in the country in the last few years. Matthew Rios is being also in Team Canada. Kadosi uh, is being called up a couple, for a couple of camps. And we're going to go live now to face it to the grand final, the gold medal game for the 2024 Canadian Championship. It is one of those moments, ladies and gentlemen, that many football players, many soccer players are aiming throughout their career to play for a national championship, to be on the biggest stage in the country for futsal, and be able to showcase their talent and their skills. Um, and that's what we're gonna see here today. We're gonna see a show, a, sh a show of talent and skills and, 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 and resilience from our, our futsal players.
Nader Kodober lining up. Montreal with the first starting five. With number 10, Omar Cooley. Number 99, Zachariah. Number 19, Yassine. The goalie is Francis Mongono and number 25, Mohamed Kadosi. Where 9 October is lined up with Andy Bacaro, Matthew Reels, Joshua Lemos in the goal, Annette, Jesse Oliver. On the starting lineup. So the game starts. There you go. We have your gold medal game starting it right now. First counter attack trying for Montreal. Being closed by number 10, Joshua Prouder. The ball is controlled by Montreal in the back, side to side. Lots of movements, lots of occupying spaces. He's trying to build something. Reels. To Andy Bacaro. Joshua pass the ball to Jesse Oliver to move the side to the other side. Trying to find holes, trying to find space on the Montreal team. Montreal team very good defensively, kind of protecting and building it from the back there. Zacharias trying to steal the ball. The ball is getting to, to the corner there. Rios got the ball, controlling the center there. Get the ball back to Joshua. And then force, Montreal forces a mistake there from the Ontario player. Joshua Lemos connecting the ball to Rios, who was trying to control it. That's the first foul of the game. Came back, get earned under the first foul of the game. Ontario has an opportunity in there. Moving the ball side to side, a quick, quick release from Ontario. Andy Bakura has the ball, gets the ball to Joshua. He's trying to force a pass there to Rios and not able to. It's just a goal kick from Montreal. Montreal is kind of counter-attacking, coming in the left side, moving to the right side with Omar. Omar is trying to dribble, make a mistake, Rios to stick the ball, he's controlling it centrally, reorganizing, starting again. From Jesse Oliver with Joshua there, trying to find hole, trying to find space. And to throw a kick in for Ontario from Nadi October. And it's a reverse, the ball was rolling. Ball for Montreal. Omar has the ball, passes back to the kick in, catches Zachariah, who's looking for an opportunity, looks looking for the vision. There's not a lot of space and a lot of big giving there. The ball is in there on the left side with Mohamed Kadosi, who kind of moving, who kind of cycling Zachariah. They're both on the left side. Kadosi got the ball back. Hanza gets that in the center. Omar gets on the left. Hanza has the ball back. Is that Zachary an option? A shot. Corner kick. First few actions of the game. First few direct shot in there in the net of the game for Montreal. It was Hanza trying to shot from 20 yards away. As Mohamed Barami kind of come in to the, to the game in there for substitution. Kadosi kind of creating space in there and moving. Omar has the ball. Zachariah is kind of moving around. Barami kind of creating space in there. Omar kind of bringing to the center. The very classic game. Both of them they create space in the middle. They move the ball to the center and they create this that line, lining shot in the middle. That's a very classic. They've been doing this all weekend long um, here in Calgary. Jesse get the ball. 
Christian Guambo on the ball on the right side, and that's the ball for 9th of October. Has a push up in the back there, gets the ball. Ball goes to Joshua. And that's to try to pass there to Roberto Galli. And got intercepted by Montreal. There's a kick in for 9th of October. The ball is moving there side to side. Joshua and Roberto. Nice back heel pass from, from Joshua there. There's a shot. And that's a touch and it's a goal kick. No touch. Referee call a goal kick. Nice to do that for Andy Baccaro. Bring the ball on the right. Kind of finding there. Christian Guambo in the middle. We'll look at the final Guambo. Oh, there's an no opportunity. What a movement from 9th of October there. Going side to side to side. Finding Andy Baccaro there on the left side. He came from the right to the left. Be able to find that hole in there. And almost he's scoring for 9th of October. Ontario's put some pressure. The ball was still from the middle. There is a shot from far from Baccaro. The ball stays on net. What incredible movement and, and, and side to side uh, 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 dynamics there for for night of October right now. Montreal is trying now a counter attack, trying to go back. Rami has the ball. Move the ball to the other side to Cadorsi. Renson Rush has the ball now. First, the first touch in the ball is on the left side. He's very creative, creating, creating space. Kadosi. Barami. Barami makes a mistake there in the pass. Joshua getting there, and Hansen just got the ball. Kind of dribble, create space, create a counter attack. And that's a 2 3v2. 3v2, Renson kind of bring it to the middle. It's a foul. No, it's not a foul. The Griffith doesn't call. The counter attack by Kiro. Joshua. That's a goal. Goal. 9 of October. Number two, Andy Bacero. He starts this, initialize the score. 15 minutes and 47 to the end. Four minutes, 40 minutes and 30 minutes into the game. Andy Bacero put it in the net. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Beautiful counter-attack. They steal the ball in the center there. Montreal had the counter-attack. They steal the ball, and they go in a 2v3. And Andy Bacchero, 2v1, and Andy Bacchero puts the ball right in, right in on Montreal's net, and putting Ontario 9th of October ahead. Now it's Ontario 1. 9th of October 1. Sporting Montreal 0. Montreal is trying to have a quick response to the 9th of October goal. Trying to bring it side to side there with, with, with Renson. Rami has the ball, they create a space, they're gonna shoot. Get a shot blocked. Darren. Francis get the ball to Burhami. Kadosi. Renson. Trying to create a space. Osma is kind of kind of trying to block him. He created space. He moved the ball, moved the ball to the center. It's kind of blocked by the ball still Montreal. Burhami. Right at the hands of Joshua Lemos. Don't forget, Team Canada is playing at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Time at youtube.com slash CONCACAF on the CONCACAF Championship. Gold death support of Futsal Team Canada, Futsal Team. They are playing against, they need to win to go to jump first place in the Group B. They're playing Panama tonight. YouTube.com slash CONCACAF. They're now with the control of the game. They have 1-0. They can kind of pace themselves. John Penarios pass the ball to Osma. Osman move to the middle, and that's a call. That's a foul. It's the second foul for Montreal in the game. Montreal is being 
uh, were very make a lot of fouls in the game in in this tournament. Uh, it hasn't kind of catch up with them yet. They you know the position hasn't become a big issue for them, but. This is something they need to watch in this game, that if they get to five, six fouls, it's a direct free kick from a 10 meter, um, a 10 meter, a 10 meter shot, and it's, uh, that can create a little, little bit of problem for them. Jesse Oliver is gonna get ready for the free kick right there. Some options in there, let's see what they're gonna do. Jesse, and a great shot, 10. Francis, got two, two time ball there, trying to counter attack. Kadosi kind of had the ball shoulder to shoulder, kind of moving out in there. Night October kind of controlling the pace right now, kind of holding a little bit, bringing Montreal to their side. Andy is kind of kind of finding those little holes, forcing him. Montreal kind of forced a mistake, but you know. Kadosi has the ball again, working together. Yassini, gonna pass it back to Hansa. Find Van Rensen on the left side, country ready space, he shoots. He's a very, very quick player. He's a very, very quick player. He got corner kick there. First corner kick, the second corner kick. First corner kick for the of October. As in kind of create his space in the back there. Kind of moving side to side. Ooh, that's a foul. Hansen really, really fast in there. And he tried to kind of pass to the side and he gets uh, first, the first foul for him back. Hansa. Centralized there in the, in the back there, trying to find for an option. Hansen become an option there, bring to the middle. Create space in the middle there. He creates it, that's a second foul. Second foul in a row, and that's a yellow card. Yellow card for number, number Ontario number 18, Luis Rojas. First cut of the day for Rojas, number 18. First yellow card of the, of the game tonight for Rojas. Luis Eduardo Rojas, number 18. So Ontario's trying to try and set up a defense system there. Renzen, Renz, Renzen is preparing to kind of find a little bit of hole in there. All the opportunities is looking for it. Renzen kind of shoot it, he passes it. Tins a little bit too strong and couldn't have control. Cadozzi could have control of the ball in there. But they get the ball back to kick in. Move the ball to the side for Hansa. And he made a mistake, a mistake in the pass in there. And Terry to counter attack. Matthew Reels holding the ball on the right side. Right now, Ontario is dominating the center of the field in there, the center of the court, not allowing, just only giving the sides there to Montreal. And Montreal's not be able to create it, but Hans is going to be able to create some space. He pass from Joshua, he shoots. He's creating space where there's no space to be created. He's, he's, he's creating, he's being very impressive today right now. Although yesterday against the Scottish, Edmonton Scottish, he was already very special. And today he's already creating so many spaces on, on the sidelines in there. Uh, he's definitely being a difference making here. Renz in number nine for Montreal. Uh, he's getting a little bit of trouble for, for the defense for, for 9th of, of October, but again, they haven't, they haven't uh, been able to score that yet. Omar's back. Zachariah moved to the back to Omar. A little bit too, oh, he gets a quick in. He gets a kick in. Was able to get a kick in. Montreal is trying to push back. They're, they're behind it. They're feeling it. They're feeling a little bit of the pressure. Zachariah is kind of controlling the pace. Kind of moving there, he's moving to the center, moved to the left, he created the empty space in there. Omar has the ball. Hansa, Hansa, Zachariah, looking for the options. There's not a lot of 
with good options in there, he gets a kick in for his team. Zakaria looking for the option there. He gets back to Hanza. Has Omar on his right. He has Kadosi on his left. He gets to Kadosi. Kadosi trying to create the spacing there. Hanza gets the ball on the top. And it scores! Goal! Spory Montreal! Number five, Hanza! A very, very not ambitious shot in there, gets rebounded and finds the back of the net of 9th of October. Now it's everything equal. Uh, 9th of October won, Sporting Montreal won on this, on this game, the gold medal game tonight. Go in nine minutes of the first half. Everything's open, everything's open. And, and, on and 9th of October is trying to push it back and kind of give a quick response. To that, to that goal from, from Hansa. That makes everything equal. Like the, the, the adversity that Montreal had, it, the, the, the game go behind the Montreal had it. It's always raising now. It's all 0 0. And, and, and game's on. Game is on from these both teams. Andy. Find Luis Eduardo Rojas on the right side. He has an option for Osman. Got a corner corner. Let's block it by Brahami. And that's a foul. Let's get back to third foul of the, right, of the half. You need to be really, really careful. There's still 10 minutes to play, and they already have three fouls. Some, some conversation going on between, between Francis and Luisa Eduardo Jorge. A little bit of this debate, discussion, the referee kind of get in the middle. Kind of, hey, settle down. Let's just play futsal. That's what we're here for. Um, Everything is good to go. Osman has the ball. He's finding it. He found Andy. He's shot block. And yet one more shot, and then you go Luis Eduardo. Nice catching from Luis Eduardo, kind of moving, creating a little bit of a space, and being the shot block in there and getting a corner kick for Ontario. Big thank you to Canada Soccer Sponsors to supporting soccer in Canada. Toyota, CIBC, Visa, Gatorade, Google Squeeze, and Sentinel Storage. And also big thank you to the QSA Local Organizing Committee Sponsors, Sahota Realty, Calgary Women's Soccer Association, Edward Jones, Fever Sports, and KFC. Ontario is kind of trying to come back in here and kind of get ahead again for another corner. They need to kind of hit the net. But they're trying to shoot. That's the kind of important there. Hansa has the ball. Get your left side to Omar. Omar bring to the middle again. Like in Ontario, Nadia October is kind of really blocking the center. But they find Zachariah there in the middle. No control. He kind of doesn't have a lot of options. He gets to Omar. He opened up to the right. Omar get to uh, Brahimi, who shots from far. Ambitious. Not on target, though. And he got the ball there from the behind from Don October, trying to kind of pace, gets to Joshua. Joshua get the ball to Roberto. And that's not an October ball. Joshua controlled the ball. Gets to Andy. Just cycling the ball really well. Get back to Roberto. Get back to Nexus. Go! Go! Nine 
second of October. Then it's number six, Matthew Rios. What a turn. What a turn. He controls the ball in the center. He controls the ball in the center. And he turns the ball and he scores. What a beautiful goal. They are cycling the ball left to right, left to right. And then he finds himself in there. He founds it. And he let the ball pass and gets the ball to number three. Andy, Andy Baccaro scores the goal. Andy Baccaro scores the goals for night of October. Wow, what a goal, what a goal. What a, what a, what a working through a night of October, moving the ball, cycling, and allowing uh, 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 Andy to be in front of it. And he scored the second goal, putting night of, of October ahead of two one. Game is getting a little bit spicy now. Rahami trying to respond. Ontario goal. And that's a yellow card for Joshua. Joshua Proctor. Silly foul there in the defense. He's trying to kind of keep the energy up, kind of keep Ontario up, and he comes after Brahami and gets uh, night of October third foul. So now three foul for each side. He gets a yellow card. He's got to be careful for the rest of the game. Brahami Hunza, both in the ball there, trying to kind of come up with a plan. Renzen on the left side, open, wide open. And they have Yassini in the center there in front of the goalie. Trying to come up with a set play. Set play there. Hansa. Pass the ball. Catch Renzen. Bring to the middle. Mark two, marking him. He open up to the shot in there. Ball gets back to him. Being challenged by Roberto there. Creating the space, get back to turn around to the other side to Rahanza. Get back to Brahimi. Brahim make a mistake in there, make a wrong pass, but he's able to recover. Hanza gets the ball back to Francis. Who we'll find it? Who we'll find a Yassini? Who kind of try to hold it? Hanza got the ball. He got blocked there, blocked the shot. And he scored a foul against Matthew Rios. And that's Quebec fourth foul of the match. Some talks in there in the bench. And the kind of getting the ball to the other side. Jesse. Get back the ball to Andy. Back about to Roberto, get back to watch Andy. Jesse, Andy, Osman, and he got blocked. He got the ball, steal it. Cadorsi, and he lost the ball. And he gets the ball back. Cool in the center. He find Roberto there. He made some mistake. Yassini sealed the ball, kind of holding, trying to do it. There's no option. Trying to do it all by himself. And he gave up the ball. Jessica, the ball to Roberto. Had any option or back to Jesse. Trying to see the options. Night of October kind of holding the game a little bit, not cycling as Roberto, Roberto move it to forward. They find Andy there, trying to occupy the space. Get back to Jesse. Get back to Osman. Osman's trying to control. He lost the ball. Yassini, get back. And few mistakes you've seen it. You haven't seen Quebec doing that, uh, Montreal doing that mistakes all, all tournament long. And now they, they're making these silly, silly passes mistakes and losing ball 
ball control in there. You haven't seen that all tournament long. Benson on the left side, trying to create space, being marked by Roberto, being to the middle. He gets a corner kick. It's the fifth corner kick for, Ke for Montreal. Sporting Montreal, this, this game. Cycling the ball, get your hands and get your hands up. Get Cadossi, trying to move it to Marky. It's kind of really hard to kind of play with it. Yassini, Cadossi, Hansa, Ransom. Oh, we got a made a mistake in there. They able to fix it. Ransom kind of bring it in. Bring to the center. And that's a foul. Renz is really good in, 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 in calling, in bringing fouls. That's the fifth foul. It's fourth foul for, for Ontario. Fifth foul for Ontario. It's the fifth foul for Ontario. Uh, they're really, he's really good into, into moving in and making players uncomfortable uh, and, and allowing that to happen. Next foul is going to be a direct for kid from the 10 yards, 10 meters mark for Sporting Montreal. Now the October has to be really careful. They're trying to, to, try to get a foul, call fouls now. And they've got to be really, really careful. Because they need to be really, really, they need to be really, really careful not to get another foul. Otherwise, Montreal is going to have an incredible opportunity from the 10, 10, meter, 10 meter mark. Lemos to Andy. And he's kind of holding the ball, kind of controlling the pace. He can do this 2-1 for, for that team. Cannot lose the ball in there. He makes some mistakes. Cadozzi shots directly. Oh, and they got a foul. And they got a foul. They got a foul. Cadozzi kind of steal the ball, create an opportunity there. You know, Andy's kind of, kind of trying to control. They trying to pass the ball, lose the ball. Cadozzi kind of had an opportunity. He shoots the ball, bring it back, and then the defense assistant from the end of October kind of calls a foul there. Clear foul. The direct free kick now for, for, for Sporting Montreal. Incredible opportunity for them to, to tie this game in 2-2 apiece in the first half of the final, the gold medal for, the, for this tournament. Just an update on the gold on the bronze medal game. It's Edmonton Scottish gets the bronze medal for the 2024 Canadian Championship. So Alberta takes it home with the bronze on the on the championship. Cadoz is gonna take the, the direct free kick. Because because it's the sixth foul from Ontario. It's a direct free kick with no wall. It's part of the rules. The goalie cannot come closer to five meters to the ball, and the players has to be behind five meters to the ball line. Brahami is gonna get ready for the shot. Brahami, he's gonna move it, he's gonna shoot it. Josh come back, and that's the hit the post. It's a missing opportunity there. Joshua Lemos kissed the post, thank you for protecting there. And he kind of do a back heel pass. It's an opportunity for Night of Ontario, uh, Night of October, Chicana. Come back, Andy, move to the middle. It's a wrong pass there for Andy. Very interesting development in the first, this first half, 2-1 for night of October with four minutes and 48 seconds to, to the end of the game. Still lots of futsal to be playing here this afternoon and a lot can happen. But right now we see a very solid defensive night of October team really protecting this crowd, not allowing Montreal to do what they do best, which is moving the ball to the center and shooting from far. They take a lot of that option. That created an opportunity, Zachariah. Zachariah shoots the ball from far. There's a rebound in there. Both teams with five fouls to it. And now it's a directly, it's a directly free kick from Ontario. Both teams with five fouls. Six fouls, it's a direct now, direct free kick from Ontario. It was a silly 
silly mistake in there uh, from from the from Sporting Montreal. They they kind of dressing the ball. They kind of created Zachariah created an opportunity there. He shoots it, and Brahami kind of carried the ball with a handball. The goalie, the referee sees it, and. Uh, and gets a direct free kick for, for Ontario. Matthew Rios is going to be shooting the shooting the, doing the direct free kick shooting right now. For night of October. Rios take a distance. Comes and direct and he shoots it and scores a goal! Goal! 9 of October, number six, Matthew Rios. Oops, extended the lead for 9 of October. Now it's 9 October 3, Sporting Montreal won on this exciting final of the 2024 Futsal Championship. What incredible, what incredible. Final so far, Matthew Rios having an incredible game. He, he scored the first goal, participated in the second, he scored the third goal. Montreal is trying to kind of to kind of try to respond to the third goal from Ontario, and, and they have they don't have much. Their shots are not coming. There's an hour counter attack, and then uh, nice connect for Joshua. Open up, so it's by seven. Let's go! Sporting Montreal, number 18, Luis Eduardo Rojas, in a counter attack and connected with Joshua Lemos. He sees the opportunity, they're wide open, they're wide open on the right side, there's nobody there. It was just a 2v1 against the goalie. It's a clear counter attack and it allows us uh, Ontario, 9th of October, to open a 2 1. Beautiful connection from Joshua Lemos. He sees there. Uh, Joshua opened up and that was just, was just Luis Eduardo Hoda to put it inside and say that civil play. F now it's Ontario, 9th of October, 4. Quebec, Sporting Montreal, 1. I, Sporting Montreal taking a break. They, they needed a timeout. They needed a timeout. They take a break. They need to kind of regroup. Quebec's not being themselves. They all 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 week long they are being they're being very effective in the long shots. They're being very effective in how they how they are how they are connecting to people and how they are moving the ball side to side. Ontario's just not even allowing it. They're just blocking those shots from the from the from the five yards, from the six, from the five yards, from the ten yards, not allowing Quebec to be able to do what they can do best. And now you have it at 4-1, 9 of October against the Sporting Montreal. The game restarted. Hansen trying to bring the ball. He moved the side to the right side. He's trying to create space, trying to shoot it. He gets blocked. It. Osma. Omar kind of tried to get it. He loses the ball control. Another October then again. Luis Eduardo Rojas. What he's going to do, he's going to create it. Kind of kick in for Quebec for Montreal. It's part of Montreal. They need, they need some kind of answer right away. They need some kind of some kind of response, so they're trying to do the same thing over and over, and, 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 and 9th of October has an answer for it. They need to try some, create something new, create spaces new, and something different. Omar, kind of create on the left, try to create a space, the two marking in, and there is the denied. Now it's a counter cut, Joshua has the ball, back heel pass to Jesse, who finds Joshua again. He has Luis Eduardo there on the corner. He's kind of regrouping, and there's nothing, no options in there, no good options in there, and kind of holding the corner. Uh, trying to kind of spend some time, and he gets a kick in. Oh, no, no, he didn't. Referee calls for his point in Montreal. Uh, but that's a good strategy right now with uh, less than five minutes to go in the first half. Two, two and a half minutes to go in the first half. 
Um, it's a guided strategy right now to kind of go into the break with an incredible good advantage of 4-1 right now. Just a reminder that, you know, this, this, this Sporting Montreal team is, is missing seven, seven players from the national team right now. And, well, in all fairness, you know, October is missing three players that are also playing for Team Canada right now. But they have performed really, really well uh, throughout throughout the whole weekend. And, and now we get Andy, Andy Bocchero gets a yellow card for a, for a foul on, on Renson Rocha in the side there. And again, because that's past the fifth foul, it's a direct for kid from the nine, for nine meters. Um, Sound Montreal has an opportunity to kind of to get back a little bit of the deficit that he was they, they got themselves in. They need to they have a hook to climb with three goals behind it. Renson Rocha has an incredible, interesting opportunity now to score for Sport in Montreal. Renson Rocha, who is a Brazilian from Brasilia, uh, moved to Canada last year and he's being still uh, struggling with French and, and, and English, but. Uh, but he can speak with his, his futsal skills, and, and it's been really interesting to see uh, this player here in, in the championship. Ransom move it, go towards it. Joshua defends it. Joshua, is, Joshua Lamb is being an incredible difference maker today on the net there for, for night of October. Joshua, who has some, some titles on his belt already, um, it's being a difference maker on that there for night of October today. Hansen bring the ball to the right, trying to create a space. There's not a lot of option there, not a lot of move, movement happening on, from Sporting Montreal today. He doesn't have an option. He tried to create a space, and he already has a yellow card and a foul. Trying to block it, trying to mark it. He gets the ball. He steals the ball. Tries to create space and hold the ball there. On the corner there, on the right corner, he kind of moved the fence and Luis touches it. He kind of able to move it, kind of move it to the side twice. He pulled it, that's it, go in the score, go! Goal! 9 of October! Oh, number 8, Osmar Hussein! In an incredible counterattack, they started in the back with, with number 2, Andy Barcaro. Pass to number 18, Luis Adelio Hoda. He beats two defenders and put Osman on the front of it with nothing else than just pushing the goal and say, see if we play. And move it and scores now the fifth goal for night of October. Now it's impressive in five. Night of October five. Sporting Montreal won. They came to play, ladies and gentlemen. They came to play, my friends. What an incredible, what an incredible goal we witnessed tonight here from from number eight to Osma, Osma hands. Like, what an incredible play. They're able to create a space here on the left side. It was incredible. It was something really impressive to see. Sporting Montreal right now, they don't have a lot of answer. They, they're moving the ball side to side. They cannot create the spaces they're able to create all week long. And, and there's not a lot of movement happening from that side right now. They're trying to respond. They need to respond right away. If they have any ambitions on this game to try to get the third championship in a row, they need, they, need, they need some kind of response. They keep something new. They're trying to play the same plays over and over. And 9th of October has the perfect answer for them over and over. They are blocking the center, not allowing them to shoot through the lanes. They are, they are not allowing them to, to cycle the ball. As they do very well. They have done very well uh, throughout the whole season, throughout the whole, the whole, the whole tournament. 9th of October is able to move the ball really, really easy to the center there. Zakaraya has returned the ball. Hansa. Catch Omar. Omar is kind of bringing bring the ball with Joshua. He kind of beat it. Joshua going to move it. Zachariah control the ball. Moves it. Passes to Kadosi. Kadosi has no option there now. He shoots it. Hamza. Lemos. It's right there. Hamza has another, sh another opportunity there. Bring the ball center there. And now Safla is a flying keeper. Trying to create something different there. Very static team, a very static sporting Montreal team right now. Cardosi. Wrong pass, kind of work out. Sporting Montreal is feeling the, the situation right now. They don't have any any too much answers right now to, to the kind of pressure uh, Night of October is doing it. And that's it. That's it. That's your first half for the gold medal of the 2024 Futsal Canadian Championship for Canada Soccer. It's being, it's being a doozy. So now we see it, night of October 5, Sporting Montreal 1.
what a first final. What a first final on the 2024 Canadian Championship uh, for, for Canada soccer. Um, it's, uh, it's been incredible. Uh, 9th of October, 5, Sporting Montreal won. Um, you know, Sporting Montreal decided <laughs> to stay in here, and we can hear the, the, the coach is not very happy. Uh, but on this intermission, we, are very, we have a, a, a very well, a very incredible um, guest here to kind of talk to us a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm joined here by Adam Berti, the president of Alberta Soccer. Adam, uh, thank you for joining us. I'm really excited to have you here. Thanks, JR. It's a pleasure to be out here and to uh, see this country's finest, you know, amateur futsal players show us what they can do. Adam, it's been, you know, we, we know that it's uh, Calgary United Soccer Association kind of hosting the tournament, uh, but it's in, in our, in, on our beautiful province of Alberta. Um, and we're very excited to see what's, how the game is developing in Alberta. So we had the start of the Edmonton Futsal League. Uh, CUSA has a league. We know Left Bridge is kind of playing it. Fort McMurray is playing futsal. Um, you know, the, the North Grand Prairie is playing futsal. Uh, how's the development of futsal happening in Alberta? Thanks, JR. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a bit, a bit of a sleeper sport until now. I've I played a little bit myself uh, maybe 10 years ago and uh, was not quite my, my game, but uh, I know we've kind of dabbled in it in the province here and there, and it's amazing to see it grow um, and, and the fact that we can actually host it here in Alberta uh, because it gives a chance for our players to, to play the best in the country uh, and really gives everyone an opportunity. So I, I think it's a, futsal is a unique sport in Alberta because we struggle with a, a long winter here. And so it's, uh, it, it gives our communities a, amazing opportunities to use facilities we already have to, you know, to play more of what I would call the, the ecosystem of soccer. Because we know it's not soccer or football, it's, it's futsal. Um, but it still develops the same skills um, and really brings out you know, the, the competition and um, just the, the general love of the game. The one thing we've been impressed about the whole the whole week here, and I'm, I'm here since the, the first day of competition, is that to see the 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 progression of the of the Perry the Perry provinces. So we have we, it's a historical tournament already. So we have the first ever final that does not include it, Quebec and, and Ontario together on the final on the female gold medal that we had in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Uh, again, on the gold medal, we do have Quebec and Montreal playing against each other, and it's it's a it's a different level of futsal. We see it, but how do you see the growth of the game on on, on the the western side of the country? Yeah, I mean, as as much as um, I, as much as it's it, you know it's it's too bad when teams don't make the final. It's it's great to see the other provinces because, as you say, it's been it's been dominated over the years in the championships by by. Ontario and Quebec and um, it's it's fantastic to see the other provinces you know I would have hoped Alberta uh, could have been there but um, we didn't we didn't quite make it but it still it gives that opportunity I think uh, to, to play because we all know that you can't get better at a at a sport unless you challenge yourself and you play a higher level of competition than you get to play so the fact that Alberta had a uh, our first ever provincial futsal this year um, we're, we're really increasing the level of competition in in Alberta so that we can now compete um, nationally. So I think it's it's great to see these other teams. It means that we're doing better as a, as a country, that we're, we're getting more skilled and it's not just a little pocket of, um, you know, Ontario and Quebec that are, that are playing the sport, so. And, and that, you know, that goes into the plug that we see, you know, Team Canada playing, uh, playing the CONCACAF Nationals, uh, CONCACAF uh, Competition Championship uh, down in Central America. You know, we, they, they tied with Cuba yesterday, 5-5. Uh, and they play tonight, this afternoon, uh, Panama at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to check it out, our boys, youtube.com slash CONCACAF. And, and this is a reflection of this tournament. Now, as, as this tournament is progressing, you know, again, definitely the majority of the players are from Quebec and Ontario. But as we can see it on the, Manit on the semifinal, for example, in the Manitoba give Ontario really a hard, a hard run for their money. Uh, on the other semifinal, Alberta and Quebec was, not a, was a little bit of a stretcher. Uh, but but as you see that, and, and you see the, the Alberta soccer plan on this, like what what do you see the game going in the next five to ten years in here in Alberta? You know, we already see um, some of the youth trying this out and seeing where it fits into their ecosystem. I think we need to to offer whatever whatever program works for whatever community you're in. So maybe that's a not quite a regulation futsal game in a in a gym somewhere. Um, I've heard of some communities that have converted their curling rinks because curling is not doing as well in their particular community. So 
uh, I think it starts at the youth level. Um, and by youth, I mean, you know, quite young, get, get, get the kids a chance to play. And uh, it'll, it'll take time for us to catch up. We don't, we don't have the history. Um, but I think, you know, the fact that Alberta has hosted uh, two, two years in a row really brings attention to this in Alberta. And hopefully, you know, we see a few kids running around here and I hope they're inspired to, to play some more. And uh, it's such a great venue as well. So I hope that this venue uh, can, can host more championships in the future and, and keep the spotlight on the sport. Because as someone who, you know, played very briefly, um, I, I know this helps the game overall. So the better we can, the more we can get our kids into futsal, that'll develop their, you know, their touch and their finesse and, and really elevate their game overall and, and raise the whole level of play. Futsal is a, it's an incredible game. It's an incredible game that really teaches people how to touch the ball, that you touch it all the time. You know, Adam, thank you so much for taking the time here to come to our Canada Soccer Broadcast here for the for the final for the 2024 Futsal Canadian Championship. You know, I have uh, thank you so much for for taking the time to, to talk to us. I appreciate it. No problem, JR. Thanks for having me. No problem. This was Adam Bertie, the president of Alberta Soccer, uh, here talking to us a little bit about the, the development of futsal in Alberta and, and, and the whole uh, tournament and championship here uh, in, in the province of Alberta. Um, in, in, the, in the last two years, the, the national championship is being hosted here in Calgary, and it's been, it's been incredible to see the results that uh, with so futsal leagues kind of popping up all over the province, um, and then we, see, we definitely see the growth, the growth of the game.
second half starts. Montreal ready with a block shot in the middle there. Like a dosi. They need to change their posture as they came into the game. Let's see what kind of answer they're going to have to the 5 1 score the 9 of October has from Sporting Montreal. Matthew Reels, hold the ball, use his size to kind of hold it, keep control. Andy, shoots it, exploded. On Brahimi and Joshua Lemos, able to kind of control in the back there. And you get the ball back again. Try to cycle, keep him maintaining. Brahimi got to do push there. Referee didn't see it. Matthew Reels, trying to look. He could have just Oliver in there. That's the first foul of the half for Quebec. Cardosi, Anza. Get the ball back to Cardosi. He's trying, he's having a hard time with against Joshua today. Just to be able to mark him. And then they're giving a lot of space, a lot of time to think. Cassini is able to get a corner kick there from Montreal. They, they're not cycling the ball. Montreal's not cycling the ball. They did all tournament long. They're not moving the ball one side to the other, creating the space through the middle. Now of October is being able to kind of block those shots, like, like this one. Brahimi shoot the ball. Let's block it. Like they, now of October is being really good in blocking those middle shots. Jacini put the ball back. Hansa tried to call a foul. Nothing happens. Counter attack now. Andy, bring the ball to the right. Brahimi keep the ball in possession. Yassini connect this to Carlosi. And Josh again one more time. Kind of knew him on that on that process. So it's an incredible opportunity for Ontario to kind of switch the line in there. Hansa, the ball to the right side. To Brahimi. He controlled the ball. Trying to create some space in there against Roberto Yassini, kind of connect. They, 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 they denied, they denied the access to the middle there. Yassini came a little bit too strong with the elbow, and he's gonna get a yellow card for it. Elbow a little bit a bit more than he should be, and he's got a yellow card in there. I'd like to thank you, the Canada Soccer Sponsors, supporting soccer in Canada. Toyota, CIBC, Visa, Gatorade, Gogo Squeeze, and Sentinel Storage. You also would like to thank the QC Local Organized Committee Sponsors, Sahota Realty, Calgary Women's Soccer Association, Edward Jones, Fever Sports, and KFC. And don't forget, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, at youtube.com slash CONCACAF, Team Canada plays the second time, second game of the tournament, the CONCACAF Futsal Championship against Panama. They are second place right now on Group B and they need the win to jump to first place. Uh, last night they tied Cuba 5-5. It's gonna be exciting, exciting game starting in the next 50 minutes. Right after here, we're done with the, the medal ceremony. Jump at youtube.com slash CONCACAF to tier for Team Canada at the CONCACAF Championship. Zachariah on the right. Find Hansa. Move it back here to Omar. Get to Hansa. Zachariah is denied. Denied by Jesse Oliver. They don't have a lot of answer right now. They really, Sporting Montreal is struggling with the space and creating space that they've been successful all week long. And look, Omar got a call put in the middle there. The opportunity. Not a shot from Kadosi. Zachariah trying to get the ball back. Both of them they steal it. And it's a corner kick. It's a corner kick for Montreal. Second of the half for them. Cadosi 
Zachariah trying to create a spacing there, and there's nothing on it. He's trying to beat it. Hanza. Kadosi. Created space. It's denied spacing there. Hanza. Trying to pass the ball to Omar, and he's just he's forced a mistake in there. Forced a mistake in there. Joshua is back on the field. Control the ball. Get from Osman. Roberto. Wrong pass to Zachariah. They kind of counter attack and he recovers the ball. It's really quick in recovering the ball there after the mistake, the wrong pass he makes. Kadosi. Trying to centralize, create a space in the middle there. Gets to Hansa on the left. Kadosi get it back. Trying to connect to Hansa. Doesn't control the ball in time. Kind of creates a little bit of a challenge. Omar is which is into itself. There's three Montreal players on the left side. Three Montreal players on the left side. They're not creating, they're not circling the ball as they did all week and all week long. They're really static on their movements. Uh, Kadozi kind of through the center there. Trying to create a space. Joshua Mark and Hansa gets the ball back. Omar is asking, he's gonna try to shoot. Joshua kind of tries to secret. Omar gets the ball. He's trying to create the space. That's his shot. They're not gonna do it. Kadosi. Omar going to get the ball back. They're cycling. They're trying to do it. They're not able to connect those, those great passes in there. Cardoso get the ball back. And it's a foul. It's a foul for, uh, it's a foul for Ontario. Zakaria is able to get a foul there. And he's back. First foul of the half. A little bit of the history of the Futsal Canadian Championship. As Omar Kanasai to shoot it. Oh, and he's injured himself. He created space through the middle. And he got it. he's injured himself and he's getting the shot. A little moderate going on in there. Omar is kind of trying to create a space in there. He earns a corner kick for his team. Montreal's a been losing their temper a little bit. Losing a little bit of the temper. Trying to cut into the debate. Yellow card. Yellow card for, for Francis. Yellow card for Francis Mogono, the goalie for um, from Montreal. There's a second yellow card for Montreal. Sporting Montreal. A little bit of unnecessary kind of moving there from the goalie perspective. And uh, he earns a yellow card on this. Montreal has a corner kick. An opportunity that can kind of move around on the cycle there. Hansa gets the ball. A lot of options for him right now. Omar on the right side. Trying to bring the ball to the middle. Trying to create a space. Caduce in the middle there. Another option. They have to go back to, to Hansa. Connect to Zachariah, who loses control of the ball. Roberto was able to take care of the of the problem back there. Omar gets to Zachariah. Zachariah number one, Roberto brings to the middle, creates space, he doesn't shoot. Deny option there. Dorsey kicks out. Lemos to Roberto. Just to remind you to, right after these medal ceremonies for the, champ, the Canadian Champion Futsal Chinese Championship, to check into youtube.com slash CONCACAF, to check on Team Canada. And there, search for a spot in the World Cup of Futsal in November in Azerbaijan. Uh, come and join us, help cheer for Team Canada. Hansen. Open up, shoots, gets a corner kick. It's get denied by Luis Eduardo Rojas. And then gets to Hansa, the corner kick in there. Supporting Montreal all, all tournament long, was clear signage was their ability to move, move the ball from side to side, create space through the middle and shoots those balls. They, they could be being denied by that by Ontario today. Ontario is really able to 
not allow the, the circulation of the ball, the, the cycling of the ball, and, and their counterattacks being really, really incredible today. Uh, something that, that, that Sport of Montreal has been able to see all, all week long. Renzen, come back in the 3v2. Make a wrong pass in there. Set up a counterattack a counter for 9 of October. Osma kind of created the middle. He, he, he able to save, and that's the pose. Osman Hussein was able to dribble two defenders from Montreal. From, from Montreal, he comes along, he creates the space, he beats a three, three of the defenders in there, creates a perfect space, and shoots it, and hits the post. An incredible opportunity there for 9th of October. This morning, Pony Montreal is really trying to have an answer for the game with 13 minutes to go on the half, and they don't have it. They, they really don't have it. Hands in on the left side, pass to the middle. To Bur to Bahami. That's what Montreal needs to do more often. They haven't done that much all game long. They're finally able to connect to a couple of, a couple of, of balls in the center there. Finally able to do this, uh, and they need to do more of it. Look at Yassini, still the ball, but made a bad pass to Bahami there. Yassini trying to do a high pressure. Forced a mistake from out of October. Osmar get the ball, and it, does he gets a free kick? He gets a free kick. Andy tried to connect along with, with Joshua there. But Montreal able to recover the ball. Joshua coming. Cassini, get the ball. Get your hands in. Try to kind of get one of you on with Andy. Bring to the center. He has a spot. He just got a block. He just got denied the space in there by two players. Hansa, Andy kind of steal the ball. Get it back to, to Renzen. Get back to the right side. Kind of got to cross it. He able to get the cross, but there's no movement in the player in the center there. Hansa going to try to play from far. Nice shot. Lemos got the ball. And he gets a free kick. He gets a free kick there. Kadosi is going to try to do from far. Kadosi and Hanson on the ball. It's going to be the option there. Kadosi running towards the ball. Took it too long to hit the ball. And that's ball now, Ontario. One in five seconds. The county on the referee and the ball change possession to 9th of October. Rios connect with Andy in the back, kind of trying to manage the game right now. Andy trying to do something fancy, create an opportunity for Jensen. Yassin. Nice, nice shoot on net there for Lemos. Rios get the ball, able to shield the ball there and get a kick in. Montreal is feeling it, it's feeling the, the, the pressure now during the four goals deficit. And it's going to be hard to climb the last 10 minutes of the game. Rios to Andy, back to Rios, and they get a free kick outside the ball. Third foul on the half for the Sport of Montreal. Fifth foul from Sport of Montreal on the half with 11 minutes to go on the, on the half. It's Port of Montreal already using all their five falls they can use on the half. Create an incredible opportunity for 9th of October uh, to manage, to play this well. Andy, Rios, get back the ball. They're really able to manage and control the, the, the ball there, the pass, like the, the, the game possessions which being incredible. 
today from from end of October. They're really able to take Montreal out of the game of ball control and ball possession, and able to force the mistakes for Montreal that we haven't seen all week long. Omar tried to create space there against Roberto. Bring to the middle, didn't shoot. Try again to the right side, shoot it. Lemos get back to Zachariah. Zachariah connect with Hansa. Hansa brings to the center. He's gonna shoot. Blocked it. Corner. Fifth corner for Sporting Montreal on this half. Omar kind of lost his scene pad over there. They just kind of put it back. Montreal is very, very static on their on their corner kick. Not creating a lot of opportunity. Some pushing around in the, on the box in there. Referee is going to talk to them and say, hey, behave. Behave, or I'm going to give you a yellow card here for both of you. Be nice. Play nice. Let's play futsal. Montreal is trying to create an option here. Get to Hansa. Hansa has an option. Has to go to all the way to the other side to Omar. Omar can shoot it. Trying to bring it. Rios is kind of marking him. Zachariah gets in there. On the corner. Gets back to Omar. Gets back to Hansa. They don't have an option. They don't have a lot of options in the middle there. Francis. Turn around, almost making mistakes. Hansa created the space in that that they need it. Kadosi lose the ball. The ball goes to a kick in. Another October guy got caught up in the substitution there. Luis Rojas. Kadosi to Omar, to Zachariah. Try to shoot it, get blocked by Andy. The best he can do is to get a kick in. Incredible crown here for the 2024 Futsal Championship from Canada Soccer. Omar, keep the ball in, keep ball in play. Try to beat Andy. He's denied the progression there, gets another kick in. Gets the ball to Francis. Francis tries to look for options. He has, a, he has a shot. He has a shot. He doesn't take a shot. He can do a shot. He opened up for Hansa. He shoot it. Lemos trying to connect with uh, Osman. And Osman doesn't control the ball. Francis is going as a fly keeper right now. On the offensive side, Omar. Try to connect it, and he got a, they got a corner kick. Francis really trying to go for it with, with nine minutes to go. They need goals in here. It's 5 1. They need to try everything. They need to try something different. Francis there is one of the options. Kadosi, Hansa. Hansa tried to shoot it, he's blocked it. Now they have an option. Josh has the ball, no goalie. Joshua gets the ball to. Um, Christian, and he's denying. Good defensive system there for um, for Montreal. Andy, Osman, back to Andy. Now to the other side to Joshua, trying to create a space, create a holes in the defensive system of Montreal. Christian, back to Andy, back to Joshua, trying to create in circle. They're creating holes like Montreal recover the ball. Hansa is able to kind of get the ball and got a kick in in there. The, the, the energy of, of the team is being different. Uh, now they have a new flying keeper on Hansen. They have no goalie. Hansen comes as a flying keeper there from for Montreal. They're trying to create something, create something different, create something unique. Hansen are going to have the opportunity there. Get Kadosi. Kadosi flip it to Hansen. Hansen got it back to Hansa. Couldn't control the ball in there. They're kind of taking his time, kind of looking for the options. Catch Kadosi. Kadosi kind of blocking to Joshua. They have an opportunity there. And he was no goalie. So close. So close to do 6-1. It's a risk you got to take. You got to take it. When you're behind 5-1, you have to take risks like, like Sporting Montreal is doing right now. But Hummy holding the ball in the left. 
Get it back to Cadossi. Try to connect it. And October is trying to, to, to finish the game here and, and take advantage of the desperation that Montreal has right now. Try to counter attack quickly. quickly. Osman. Has him kind of marking. He brings to the middle. Roberto. Get your high Osman again. Nice exchange of passes here from the night of October. Nice exchanging here and then and passes and creating the opportunity for, for night of October here to counter attack. Now there's some conversations happening between uh, the referee and the coach from Sporting Montreal. Coach JJ there. He's kind of talking to Mefereels. He's kind of keeping, keeping his team going, keeping his team excited. It was an issue with, uh, it was an issue with uh, the uniform from Renson. They're going to substitute it again. Hansa connected there. Trying to connect it with uh, Bahami, but he's not able to control the ball. Renzen with a lot of space, a lot of space, bring to the center, shoots it! Lemos! Incredible save by Lemos in there. Joshua Lemos with uh, controlling a missile there from Renzen. Hansa. Renzen in the other side. Get back to Kadozi. Mahami. Hansen. Create space, shoot it. It's denied by Andy. As they get the ball back, bring to the center. Great space to Hansa. He's going to shoot it. It's denied. It's going to block it by Jesse Oliver there, getting another corner kick for Montreal. Six of this half. Sport of Montreal is seeing the dream of a third championship in a row kind of fading away. The defending champions are losing 5 1 to United October. Um, almost like as as a way to pay back last year. Last year's final was the same two two, two clubs, Night of Cobras versus the Sporting Montreal, and Sporting Montreal was successful this year. Night of Cobras come back and they, they beat the defending champions in the final, kind of breaking the the, the winning streaks from Sporting Montreal uh, and their opportunity to to, to hold it. Uh, the, the the most titles of the Canadian Championship they 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 won twice. Uh, their tie with the Toronto Idolo, they also won twice. The Toronto Idolo won in uh, 2018 and 2019 back-to-back. -back. Sporting Montreal wins 2022, 2023 back-to-back. -back. They're trying to be uh, the team that win the most back-to-back-to-back. -back -back. First for the first time in the history of the tournament. Um, but they're being denied right now by the 9th of October, um, creating something of a... They're trying to create something of a legacy here on the futsal world, from the Canadian futsal world. But the night of October has something, something to say about, about the dream of Sporting Montreal. They're trying. They're trying right now. They're trying something different with, with uh, shots from far. And they create a opportunity. Goes to Craig. Go! Go! Sporting Montreal, number 99, Zachariah. He scored in a rebound there. Renson kind of moving the ball on the right side. He created, he tried to shoot it. Lemos get the ball. He creates it, a diversity there, moves the defense side from side to side. They shoot it, Omar shoots the ball. Hansa shoots the ball, Omar kind of tried it, hit the post, and Zachariah was in the right place at the right time, making a 5-2. It's nothing lost, nothing lost in futsal. It can always come back, you can always come back. Nothing lost in futsal, 5-2. Still have game, we still have five minutes to go. What can Montreal, five minutes, 15 seconds to go, what can Montreal do? Can they come back from a three game, three goals deficit? Hansen has a ball on the left. Get connect to Hansa. Hansa connects to Omar, they has a shot, he has a shot, he's gonna try it, he's blocked it. Blocked by Osmar, got a block by Joshua there. 
It's creating a little bit of an energy here and a, a little bit of an atmosphere in here. A little momentum here for Sporting Montreal. For, for the first time, they're trying something different. They're able to score a couple of goals. Hansen collected the ball to the left. He's going to bring it. Galaxy Speed bring it to the middle. Case. Space! Joshua Lemos! Second defense in there. The, Renz is doing the same thing over and over. He's bringing it to the back. Has a straight shot. And Joshua Lemos is there to respond. Renz could create again. Space for Osma. Bring it to the middle. Hansa. Bring it there to the center. Renson created the space. Omar created the middle there to Zachariah to connect it. He tried to shoot it. Lemos defended. Has something to say about it. And then Rios are able to kind of clear the ball from the back there. He had a clear option on Hansa there in the front, but he tried Zachariah. Sporting Montreal is kind of coming, kind of try to give it a response that they need it. Hansen kind of shoot it. Lemos got a rebound. Zachariah, that's a foul. That's a fifth foul. Six foul, directly shoot, directly shot from the 10 meters. Yellow card from Zachariah, number 99. Third yellow card for Sporting Montreal on the game. Matthew Rios. Matthew Rios is going to go for the shot in there. Francis back on net. That could be, the, could be it. That could be the sixth goal, four goal differential. With four minutes 21 to the end of the game. Matthew Rios, take a distance, move towards the ball. Francis. Deny Matthew Rios. Does a counter attack? Kadosi with Zachariah, he scores, he scores 5 3! It's 5 3, it's goal! Goal! Zachariah, number 99! Make this Sporting Montreal 3! 9 of October 5! And now there's a second yellow card for goalie! For the goalie, Francis Magoro. There's something going on in there. They have the momentum. It's 5-3 with four minutes to the end of the game. Four minutes and 12 seconds. There are only now two goals behind it. They have the momentum. They can attack it. They can create it. And Francis, Francis got a red card, a double yellow. He gets a red card. He gets a red card with the right time for coming out of the, the area, the technical area. Now he's like he's not happy about it. It's, it's creating a weird momentum in here when this team just scored 5 3. Get an incredible opportunity to come back in the game. Francis got a red card. Can, can, what, can, what can Montreal do? What can Montreal do? Can they score two goals in four minutes and tie this game and take it to overtime? What can they do? What can they do? The referees are kind of looking and kind of checking the time, make sure that things are not, make sure everything is okay. A lot of tension, a lot of, lot of, lot of nervous thing happening on the, on the gymnasium right now. The crowd's going crazy. Montreal is calling, calling the, Montreal is calling the, calling the fans to kind of support us a town mile for Ontario. They kind of feeling the pressure. Montreal is feeling the momentum. France is still in the field, in the field, still in the room, still having some issues, some arguments with the referees in there. There's time out for Ontario right now. They're trying to regroup. Montreal is trying, to, is trying to get excited about it, trying to get it pumped. They need two goals in four minutes. They need two goals in four minutes to get back and, and, and force this game into overtime. Two goals in four minutes. All Ontario needs to do right now is to keep the ball, keep possession, keep wasting time, and not allowing this to progress. What's going to happen, my friends, in the last four minutes? What's going to happen in the last four, 12, four minutes and 12 seconds of this game as, as we are trying to to get to, to, to find out who's going to be the 2024 Futsal Canadian Championship winner. And don't forget to check out youtube.com slash CONCACAF, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. In the next 27 minutes, our Team Canada is facing Panama for the CONCACAF, Canadian, CONCACAF Championship. We tied Cuba last night at 5-5, and we're going to Face Panama tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, youtube.com slash CONCACAF.
The game's gonna restart now with Roberto for night of October. The crowd get excited. Four minutes to go. So much, so much online right now here. Sporting Montreal is keeping the dream alive of three championships in a row. Night of October, they want a revenge, rematch from last year's defeat on the final here in Calgary. Joshua's gonna have a chance today. He's gonna call it. Shoot it. Outside. Montreal with Hans on the right side. Now they have a flag keep again. Omar Zachariah. Kadosi. Shoot it. Stefano Lago is out of the net. He's just, the substitute goalie. Hansen as a flying goalie brings to the middle again. One more time. Joshua Lemos. Whoa. Now there is a confusion there. An unnecessary confusion on the game. Renzen jump over the bench from, from night of October. Unnecessary. Create a little bit of attention on the field right now. Some words being saying there, some, some conversation between the coaches. Andy talking to Andy talking to Ransom there. Ensign made a, a silly mistake in there, jumping over the, the bench. Might cost him a yellow card. A red card. There's a red card. Red card for Number 11 for night of October, Julian Tavares. And the red card for number 10, Omar from Montreal, Sporting Montreal. Red card from Sporting Montreal, number 10, Omar. One of, one of the best players of the team for sure. And number 11 for night of October. That's what happens when you lose your, lose your attention. You lose your, your cool and you get distracted. You get more concerned about the, the ins and outs of the game. Everything was caused by when Hansen, number nine, kind of jumping over the bench for night of October and, and create a little bit of a tension uh, between the two benches in there. Was out of our light side of vision there uh, when it happened, but the referees give two red cards to the situation here for the final. Hansa, number five as well. I think for Montreal also got a red card. So Montreal has number five, number one, and number ten. Hansa, Omar, and Francis with a red card. Very unnecessary, unnecessary events happening here as you know, with five, five three. Only two goals behind it. Three minutes and thirty five seconds to the end of the game. You you need to keep your cool. You need to keep your your head in your head, your head straight. And not make silly mistakes, right? You you you're getting the momentum. You're recovering. Now you lose two players, two central players on Hansa number five. And Omar, number 10, who was playing most of the games for, for Montreal, Atletico Montreal, and, and, and they, lose, they lose it. They lose it because 
uh, because the silly mistake of a player and they, they, they get into altercation with uh, 9 of October. It might end up costing them the, the championship. It might end up costing them the, the tournament and uh, because they had an, an opportunity to come back and that might cost them the return and the 5-3, the, the, five, three, the, five, the tie, the 5 tie on this. Still some arguments and conversations going on between the benches and the referees. Some clarity. Where they're gonna be the restart. Hansen, number nine. It's gonna have a kick in back. False start there from Hansen. Heffer hasn't authorized yet. Trying to control the game. And then no option. Pass it back. Now they're playing in the deficit of two players. Second. It was called a second touch. It's 4v2. Sporting Montreal had two players send out after that confusion. It's just creating an impossible situation for them to defend with three players only. A goalie and two defenders against four night of October. Joshua, Rios, connected to Andy. Shoot it! It's a corner kick for Ontario. Andy connected to Jesse. Joshua. Circling the ball, Rios, Matthew Rios to Joshua. Matthew Rios with an open shot. Get back to Andy, get back to Joshua. It's block it. Able to save it. Joshua kind of circling the ball through the center there. Try to keep it in away. Zachariah able to block the passing there. But a little bit of a confusion problem for Joshua there. No foul. Keep going. Matthew Rios kind of recenter, bring it to the middle. Got Jesse on the right. Matthew Rios, Joshua. A little bit of a too much of excitement there from Ranson there. Almost got the ball. Jesse Oliver, connect to Andy, connect to Matthew, connect to Joshua. Open by net. He misses it. Montreal starts to create something. Two men's advantage, two minutes to go. Two minutes, 13 seconds to go. Montreal try to create something here with two men's advantage. It's going to be it's almost an impossible situation for them. Kadosi to Hansen. Put between the legs of Jesse Oliver, who put the hand in Jesse's face and then gets a free kick. Port of Montreal is trying to get excited there, get, get the team believing it, that they can do it. Jesse Oliver on the trying to tackle that the ball from, from Cardozzi. They almost score from the middle. They're trying to keep the ball alive. Montreal is trying to create something there, some excitement there, some, some play from the heart in there. Trying to get it pumped. Hansen has the ball. And the from far. The 9th of October had third opportunity to, to settle down and finish. And he scored a six goals. They haven't been able to do it. It might be a problem, but so far so good. Montreal got a second foul in a row. That's number four. Trying to create something there. The 
They're going to be back in equal with one, one of the players. Hands and created opportunity to get his pace. Equal, equal numbers now. It's 4v4. It's 5v5 now. Jesse got to miss an opportunity there. Shooting from far. For Hamni. Kind of move the ball to the center. A minute 22 seconds to go. Great opportunity there for Zachariah. Edge Cardosi, Bahami. They're trying to move. They're trying to create something. They're trying to hands in on the left side. Bahami. Cardosi, Bahami again. Can I create a shoot it? It's a goal kick for the night of October. One minute, six seconds for the night of October to be the 2024 Futsal Canadian Championship. Montreal doesn't have a lot of answer to what not October brought it. They are creating opportunities after opportunities and Montreal is trying now to play with their heart. 56 seconds to the end of the game. Montreal is trying to build, create something out of nothing here. Andy gets the ball <laughs> as the kids get in the middle, almost getting hit by Andy there. And he kind of tries to hold the ball in the corner, trying to try keep possession on 9th of October possessions. Trying to create it. Mahami, steal it. Kadosi, create it in the middle. 9th of October kind of recovered that, recreated the momentum. Zachariah. Joshua Lemus trying to do a long connection with Roberto here, who cannot keep control of the ball. Can Montreal come back? Kadosi. They need to rush it. Brahami. Henson. Bring to the light side. Blocked by Andy. Yassini can try to keep the ball and gets a kick in. Yassini to Henson. Bahani. Gonna shoot it. Bring to the middle. Bring to the right foot. Zachariah. 14 seconds. 13 seconds. Henson. Can opportunity. Zachariah create an opportunity. Can get a shot? He's blocking and he's shooting from far. And now it's only five seconds to go. 9 of October, five seconds away to be the 2024 Futsal Canadian Championship. The Montreal is trying to put something. It can be any time, and that's it. That's it. The 9 of October, the 2024 Futsal Canadian Championship. Champions, they came to play. They opened a 5 1 advantage. They put in a situation there. Uh, Montreal was trying to come back in a 5 3, and then a silly mistake there, and a silly uh, involvement in, in the benches in there. Montreal gets two red cards or two key players and creates an issue. Now they, 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 they had to stop their momentum as they're coming back, and then. 9th of October just kind of manage it through the last four minutes and kind of control it. And they are able to be the 2024 Canadian champions. So please, as we, we get ready here for the medal ceremony, please go to, we, we're going to end this, this broadcast here right now. We're going we're gonna to stream again from the other side uh, for the other stream for the, for, the, for the medal ceremony. Don't go away. Uh, in 30 minutes, Team Canada goes going to be on the youtube.com slash CONCACAF. It's Canada and Panama. Uh, have both tabs open so we can go to the medal ceremony. And um, we're going to be able to go uh, into the next, the next side there. So first place, 9th of October from Ontario. Second place, Sporting Montreal from Quebec. And third place, Manitoba. So it was really good to spend this time with you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. The pleasure is all mine, and we see you guys on the medal ceremony in 10 minutes. See you later.